Okay, so now let's uh, solve this uh, problem using Excel. And uh, as you can see, the formula can be um, complex. So I set everything up for you. Uh, and I'm going to share this uh, uh, spreadsheet with you for your convenience. Um, if you have this kind of data, and you, the first thing that you have to do is you have to enter the arrival rate and service rate and the, the wage of the mechanic or the people who are working in the system and the, the waiting cost is also very important. Uh, I think the most challenge you have is to find out what the waiting cost is because that can be very subjective. And uh, once you enter this one, then uh, you can also set up this waiting line model result for yourself. So I have uh, steps, uh, step one to seven, and symbol is uh, L, LQ, length, and, and the length, length in the queue, wait time, wait time in the queue, and row, which is the uh, 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 utilization factor, and P0 is the person idle time, and P and K is the probability that the number of customers in the system is greater than K, right? So that's uh, uh, the system that I have set up, and I also enter the formula uh, so that I can use this one um, directly. So let's do this first. Let's find L, the length, uh, uh, the, the, the average number of customers in the system. So equals lambda, right? So I go to lambda. Lambda is right here, 2 divided by, and I encourage to use a parenthesis because uh, when you are using Excel, sometimes, you know, it gets very complicated and uh, not using uh, parentheses carefully can um, mislead you to wrong calculations. So uh, mu is given as 3 and minus and lambda is 2. So notice that I'm not just typing the number, but just clicking on the cells so that I can, you know, simulate it or later use this one as a template for another question. And I have that. So 2 is given there. And the same way, uh, LQ is lambda squared. So you can do 2 squared and divided by uh, mu times mu times and mu minus lambda, mu minus lambda. Right, so, and then hit enter. So 1.33 is the average number of customers in the queue uh, all the time. And uh, the wait time, average time a customer spends in the system, how much would that be? Equals one over mu minus lambda. Right. Um, that's about an hour, right? About an hour. Um, customer one I'm sorry one customer one hour a customer spend in the system usually what about WQ uh, average time customer spends waiting in the queue so let's go here WQ equals lambda over mu minus u times mu minus lambda right so we learned that about 67.67, right? So uh, if you do just calculations quickly, 0.67 times 60 minutes, about 40 minutes, they, you know, uh, a customer is waiting uh, in the line. And let's look at the row. The utilization factor is lambda over mu. Lambda over mu gives you 67. Um, percent of the time uh, the, the mechanic is working. The percent idle time is 1 minus lambda over mu. So lambda over mu here. So 33% of the time the mechanic is idle. And the probability that the number of customers in the system is greater than k. So this is uh, a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, complex. We have to use this formula. So let's do this. I created this uh, probability of more than so p n greater than k. That's uh, over here. 
uh, and uh, I have to use this formula here. So equals power, power of lambda over mu, lambda over mu, and k plus one. So k plus what is k plus one? K is right here, and plus one. Right. So this is the formula that you can use for the probability. And uh, uh, so, you know, the probability that the system would have more than zero car is 67%. And as you scroll, um, oh, so we have an uh, error message here. What, what's wrong with it? So the, the mistake I made was as I uh, copied it down, you know, the formula changes. Now you look at here. So lambda and mu is gone. Uh, it moved together as I copied down. So that's why you have to use absolute reference. So you have to add dollar sign in front of i and 4 and uh, i and 5. So you are fixing the location of lambda and mu in the way you can simulate this one correctly. So let's do that. Okay, so now you have found the probability of more than k cars will be in the system is right here. And if you have done that, now let's uh, calculate total waiting cost. Um, so it's uh, uh, m times cs. cs is the cost of uh, service. So m is uh, the number of the line. We have only one line. And the cost of hiring and running this uh, mechanic is $15 per hour, right? And we also have to remember that this is a daily, um, daily uh, cost, therefore eight hours per day. So eight hours per day times one line and uh, uh, $15 per hour, 15, and that is going to produce $120. And uh, I have to change, I guess, to daily total daily service. So, and uh, uh, total daily service cost is lambda, the number of people arriving uh, per hour times the wait time, how, may, how much time they are waiting on average, and times CW. The cost of waiting. So that's lambda is right here, two times the number of uh, customers in the system is one times, and CW is given as 50, uh, waiting cost is $50 per hour. And also uh, remember that we are making it a daily cost, so eight times of that, and that's uh, $800. It's higher than what I, I thought. I found the mistake. The mistake was that uh, uh, it's not supposed to be W, but WQ. So um, instead of 07, you have to use. 08.67 and that will give you $533.33 and therefore you have $653.33 as your cost. So since these are costs, you can add dollar sign there and uh, that's your cost. And now uh, let's uh, take a look at the scenario two where you want to hire uh, a person uh, whose efficiency is uh, four cars per per hour rather than three cars per hour and what happens there so it's the same thing I'm what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to just copy this formula as they are and uh, one thing that I have to change is um, let's see if I'm correct okay this is correct that's correct so I'm uh, concerned about uh, 
uh, the absolute reference that I used before. Other than that, I think it's good, right? So uh, it turns out that uh, you know um, you are spending only three hundred sixty dollars. However, the performance of the waiting line is much better than the previous case. That's really good. And this one I need to worry about. And yeah, so I for instead of this, I have to use I have to use this one, new one, right? And mu is four, so I have to use this one, right? And it's fifty percent. So this will change your function a little bit, right? So um, fifty. Um, percent of chance that you will have more than zero cars, 25% of uh, chance. Twenty-five percent of chance to have um, more than one cars and so forth will be uh, generated right here. So you can see that and as a conclusion if you just compare uh, the cost between scenario one and two, the saving that you can make is total cost one minus total cost two will give you 653 here equals 653 minus 360. So about $293 of uh, a savings you can make per day. So if you make it you know, seven, five days, right? How much per week? That's uh, one thousand four hundred sixty-six dollars, and multiply by say four weeks, then wow, you know, near six thousand dollars per month you can uh, save if if everything that you have uh, set up here is right. So this is how you solve your um, uh, MM one model using Excel. Thank you.